Hi, it's Danielle Dawn from Maritime Medium, and today's video is addressing how important it is nowadays to truly be up to date on what's going on politically and within the media. So this morning, very early morning, I woke up to the horrific news of another shooting in Texas, and I watched the global news video on one of the police chiefs, Michael, reporting on the situation down there and watching his emotion and, you know, him trying to convey the factual elements of what took place when there's a lot of moving parts. Um, it, it really, you know, those moments really set you back and you have to observe and, and, and let that touch your spirit and soul. So what I want to get at with this is I want to touch on a few different current events to kind of tie into my point. The point being, it is everyone's responsibility nowadays to be aware of what's going on politically and to be a voice for ethics. I recently saw an article also on um, Kellyanne Conway putting down Taylor Swift for speaking about the Equality Act during one of her speeches. and. I just thought that her commentary, Kellyanne's, was so classless. And she was basically using one of Taylor's songs to um, put her down and say how the Equality Act actually uh, isn't in the best interest of the people, which is obviously a Fox News tie to Trump. Um, everybody should know that if you're following media uh, anyways. But with Taylor, I, I was so impressed with this, and I was quick to come to the defense when I saw any articles on this. I actually posted um, the Congress uh, link for that Equality Act and one of the bills relating to it, with a few other links there too, um, on that uh, website. But what I find interesting here is Kellyanne was trying to put down how Taylor was not in a position to use her platform to speak about politics or ethics. And I feel that there has never been a more important time for celebrities or people with strong followings to use their platforms for awareness like this. It's, it's <laughs> just so necessary. This is not a time to be quiet. This is a time where when you see these horrific acts happening, we all need to be called to action. We need to be writing into our politicians, starting with your city councillors, right to the mayor, and keep climbing up that ladder until you start to see the results that you desire ethically. I also think that this is a remarkable time in history for uh, individuals who have freedom of speech truly, like on YouTube, um, who are not tied to a large um, like media organization to really get vocal about what the recommendations are for these cases. When there's that unlimited freedom, I think that is a, a really true platform for being able to do a lot of good and raise a lot of awareness. And uh, yeah, so I kind of wanted to touch on that. The other piece too, especially for those who know me or who have been following my page and know that I'm a medium, uh, I was also thinking too, with, with these kinds of events that are happening worldwide, if you're in the holistic community, like if you teach meditation classes or yoga, this is a remarkable opportunity to reach out to uh, p places like our uh, local police officers um, and our uh, local uh, first responders and to offer services for free for them to support them because they're being exposed to high frequency, unfortunate Unfortunately, it's not even the word to do it justice. Just horrific. It's just heartbreaking experiences. And we need to start getting serious about recognizing the power of our voices, um, whether you have a small platform or not. I see a lot of people contributing to, you know, conversations on Facebook, which is great because it's conscious conversations. And a lot of people, you know, saying, you know, pray for here, pray for there. Those pieces are great. And I'm going to lay a hard truth here, but that is not enough. We need to be taking more action that's going to have more movement with it. You know, I, I believe that prayer is powerful, but I do not believe that um, we pray and we wipe our hands clean and think that 
that's enough. When we see these news articles and our hearts are breaking and we're, you know, the tears are coming down because you re recognize that a two-year-old just got shot, you know, or if there's, you know, all of these certain cases, it's not enough to expect, you know, some unseen force to do this alone. I truly believe from all of the miraculous experiences that I have witnessed as a medium that we are often the answers to prayers through each other. And when we pray for help, sometimes what ends up happening energetically is other people become stirred inside when that prayer call goes out to become more motivated to action. I do not believe that horrific acts like this are of a divine purpose. This is not any, um, yeah, I just don't think it's of divine purpose. I think it's truly our responsibilities to become very vocal, to become educated on politics, to become, um, you know, defined in our platforms of, okay, here's how I'm contributing. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, for anyone who is following my pages, you're going to be starting to see me really stepping up into sharing more about uh, links to write into our politicians. If you have things you'd like to speak up on, whether it be environmentally, with wanting to see more recycling, or if it's more to do with wanting to see um, less violence and stricter gun laws. Uh, I'd also like to start hosting something for our first responders um, out of the yoga studios that I work in as well. And I'm going to be looking for ways to make action with this, and I'll be sharing about it in hopes that it can inspire others to do this too. We are stronger together, not alone. So I wanted to put this together. It was a lot of thoughts at once, but uh, when I woke up to the news, I knew that I needed to say something and it's not enough to stay silent in these cases. And I think when we see this kind of information, you know, we need to look to politicians like the prime minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, who took care of the families who were affected and who had uh, stricter gun laws in place within days. And I think we can learn a lot from that and we need to hold on to that hope and not become complacent, not become numb when these experiences happen, be motivated to motion. So if this resonates, please share, subscribe, but more importantly, after this, I would encourage you to look up a way to write into your politicians and find more ways to support um, people who are affected by these cases. So all my love, take care of you and take care of others. Bye for now.